She was a mother of seven, yet she still found time to start a religious congregation in the 19th century dedicated to rescuing hundreds of young girls from poverty and prostitution. Blessed Rafaela Ibarra was born in 1843. She belonged to a wealthy family from Bilbao, Spain. She felt a strong need to help youths who were exploited after migrating to Spain and search for a better life. Young girls between the ages of 14 and 16 were the ones traveling to Bilbao. She found a residence for them and on the weekends she would work with them. It was her way of trying to give them just a small token of formation, a place where they could prepare for the future. She founded the Congregation of the Guardian Angels in 1849. Her mission was to have the poor girls be successful, whether as mothers or as professionals. Now, together with the Rafaela Ibarra Foundation, they have homes and residences that offer formation and skill training. They welcome children rescued from dire situations. All this is possible through the collaboration of families that sponsor the children they take care of. In Brazil, children are picked up from the streets. Other times, we're given custody of children who are just a few months old, who have been found in garbage bins. When fights break out in the favelas or slums, many people use firearms and end up in jail, and we welcome their abandoned children as well. After the sisters have helped them recover from the initial shock and trauma, they're usually adopted. The sisters also have schools and universities in Spain and Latin America. They have a presence in places where they are needed most. We have schools in poor areas, for example in Argentina, in the San Rafael neighborhood. It's a completely marginalized area. They call it the stabbing neighborhood, and ours is the only educational center at that location. Rafael Ibarra worked tirelessly for young people. It's a mission that was strengthened even more as a mother and a grandmother. She died in the year 1900. She was beatified 84 years later by Pope John Paul II. Her example encourages these religious sisters to continue working with the marginalized in different areas of the world.